Hello everybody. Hope you're all doing good. Today we'll be reading a book uh, titled A Landform's Adventure written by Rose Brooker. Road trip. We're going on a road trip this summer. My parents and I are driving from Boston to Seattle. My class has been learning about landforms in school. We are going to see some amazing landforms on the trip. My teacher Mr Lopez said that earth's crust is made up of huge pieces of rock called plates. Some of the plates are larger than continents. The plates sit above melted rock and slowly slide around because of heat deep inside earth. The moving plates can create landforms. Mr Lopez also said that earth's surface is always changing. He said that some changes are slow while others are fast. Old landforms can change over time and new ones can be created. Some landforms result from changes underground. Hot, melted rock under Earth's surface can build up and form a volcano. A volcano is a type of mountain. Other changes happen on the surface. Weathering breaks down rocks and shapes it. Erosion carries away the pieces that are broken off. Wind, water and ice are the main tools of weathering and erosion. Mr. Lopez handed out a list of different landforms. I'm going to take the list on my trip and try to see them all. Mom and I start at Castle Island in Boston Harbor. It's not really an island since it doesn't have water all around it. It's connected to the mainland on one side, so it's a peninsula. You can see a bunch of islands from there though. Once we start driving west, the hills and valleys grow larger and we seem to be climbing higher. We pass some old mountains that erosion has worn down to big hills. In New York State, the land is low and hilly in some places and higher in other places. Dad says the higher places are part of a huge high area of land called a plateau. After stopping for the night, we keep driving west until we get to Lake Erie. It's one of the Great Lakes. A glacier carved the Great Lakes about 14,000 years ago. We stay overnight in Chicago and then get back on the road. Now we are driving past Madison, Wisconsin, which is an isthmus. It's a narrow strip of land between two bodies of water. We stop to see the Wisconsin Dells. The Dells is a gorge, a steep, narrow valley that was carved by the Wisconsin River. Along its sides are canyons, which are similar to gorges, but not as steep as or narrow. We are almost to the Mississippi River, one of the longest rivers in the world. This part of the Mississippi was carved by glaciers. We crossed the Mississippi River on the way to the Great Plains. The plain is a large, flat area without many trees. The Great Plains formed when two plates smashed into each other and joined together. Some parts of the Great Plains are flat and others have hills. We drive through a corner of Yawming and pass some mountains on our left. Some of the mountains have snow, but Mom says even bigger mountains are still to come. After we cross into Montana and drive for a while, Dad says, get ready to see something big. Soon afterward, I see a row of high snowy peaks, the Rocky Mountains. The Rockies are one of the main mountain ranges in the West. They formed when two small plates beneath the Pacific Ocean slid under the North American plate. After driving across Montana and Idaho, we finally enter Washington. We pass Mount Rainier, a huge volcano. For the last landform on my list, we travel one hour north to see a river delta. This landform was created when dirt and rocks built up where the river flows into a bay. I've seen some amazing landforms on this trip and have learned so much about how Earth's surface changes. I can't wait to tell Mr. Lopez about my summer vacation. Thank you for listening to me. Please like, share and subscribe.